Okay, we're going to look at how to use Merlin. Um, if you're not at the office, you'll need VPN to log into Merlin. Um, and the address for Merlin is merlin.savechildren.org. Once you're logged on, you just use the same user ID and password that you use to log on to your computer or your email. And I'm logging in. And Merlin is very easy to use. Um, the easiest search you can do is just to click photo and type in a keyword for whatever you might be looking for. For instance, if I'm looking for photos of schools, I can just type in school and go to search. And it'll return um, 6,699 items, but it's only going to return the first 500 that match school. Um, and you can see even more items per page if you choose grid view. There you go. So you can quickly scan through the pictures. Um, and by clicking on any picture, for instance this one, um, you can see all the information about it. So here's a caption about the picture. And then down below you can find um, the name of the photographer, which you should credit anytime you use it. Um, this one is John Buggy, I guess is the name, and the country, this was taken in Gaza. Um, the Merlin ID, which is very useful if you ever need to find the picture again. And to download it, all you do is click download. Here it goes, and all you have to do is save it. And right here at the end of the file, you can see that's the number of, of the photo. So that's great when you save it. Um, I usually leave that as the beginning of the file name so that I can find the photo again. And then I usually put the location and the photographer so that's all there for when I use the photo. Just click save and there you go. You have yourself a picture. Now let's look at how to do a slightly more sophisticated search. I'm going to go to advanced search. Um, again, you want to make sure that photo is clicked. Um, usually if nothing returns as a result, it's because you forgot to click photo. And um, you'll see that in the advanced search, I have a lot more options for how I want to search. Um, and this is very useful if you know you want photos from a certain country. So say I only want pictures of Mali, and I want pictures of school, and I want to see a girl in the picture. So I can type both of those. Um, into my search and hit search. You can see it returned 55 um, hits that match my query and most of them are pictures of girls in school. Um, let's say I want to download this one. I can click on it and there's some other information that's very useful. Um, the file names when Susan Warner, the photo librarian, puts pictures into Merlin, she typically begins the file name with information about whether the picture is released or not. If it starts with an R like this, that means the picture has been released and it's okay to use. So somebody has signed an agreement here. In this case, um, it could be in a signed agreement or it could be that the girl is sponsored. If the picture is of a sponsored child, then it's fine to use. Um, but that's worth looking for. Sometimes you'll see a file name that begins with U and that means that it's unrestricted, which happens sometimes if there's um, a group shot and you can't tell easily um, who's in the picture, then it's unrestricted and that means that it, it doesn't require a release and it's fine to use. And you can even um, use that to um, narrow your search if you want. So say I'm looking for um, photos from um, El Salvador and I know I want photos about education. And notice here you can click use thesaurus so that it looks for um, other keywords that are similar to education. So I'll click that this time. And this time, um, I want to make sure my photo is released, so under Art Object, I'm going to put R and click Search. And now you'll see that all the photos that it returned um, begin with that letter R right here, so that you know they're released. And that can be useful, especially if you're looking through a lot of pictures and you want to narrow it down. But do remember that um, sometimes file names will start with U, and those are okay to use as well. And Occasionally, um, someone will forget to go in and change the file name, so you could be missing out 
on a few photos by restricting it only to our searches.